Okay, MYP1, here's your lesson for today. So you're going to start off by drawing um, some axes, coordinate axes, X and Y. So I'm going to have an X axis and I'm going to have a Y axis. And these are going to have uh, coordinates on that you're going to um, that you're going to use to make a picture. So let's put some numbers on here. So let's uh, say every one of these squares is one. So five squares is five. Zero is right at the middle. Um, so the the numbers are going on the lines and not in the middle of the boxes. That's a mistake that people make a lot. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10 would be there don't have to draw every single uh, number on there just every five would be fine uh, so 11 12 13 14 15 would be there 16 17 18 19 and can't quite can't quite get 20 in then it would go into minus numbers so zeros right in the middle then uh, minus one minus two minus three minus four so minus five is there. And then on the Y axis, so zero starts in the middle and then one's there, two's there, three's there, four's there. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Can't quite get 15 on. And it goes into minus numbers as well. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. There's minus five. Minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten is there. Okay, so there's a nice grid. And I'm going to use that grid to create a picture and use coordinates to describe that picture. Um, much like I did in class last week. So let's say I want to start there. At that point so that points uh, one across and four up so um, that's the coordinate one four so I'm going to write the instruction start at one four so start at that point there one four um, then I'm going to go up to let's say here at one nine and I'm going to join those up. So my instruction for someone drawing this is um, join one four two one nine. Then let's say I want them to go over here. So spoiler alert, I'm trying to make a letter M for maths here. So I want them to draw to that point there. So that's the point. Well, it's three across and it's not nine up. So the instruction is going to be to join the previous point, one nine, to the next point, next point, which is three nine, three across, nine up. Then let's say I want them to go down here to make a nice little diagonal at the top of the M. Um, so that point there is five across and seven up. So my instruction is then gonna to be to join the previous point, three, nine, to five, seven, five across and seven up. Then let's say I want them to go up here uh, so that's the point seven nine. So I want them to go to seven nine first. Um, next. So I want them to join five seven to seven nine. Let's say I want them to go over here next. So I want them to draw a line across there. So I want them to go to the point that's nine across and nine up. So join the previous point seven nine to the next point, which is nine nine. 
Um, let's go down here now. So I want them to go to the point nine across and four up. Nine four. So join nine nine, the previous point, to nine four. Okay, let's go over here now. So that's the point seven four. Join nine four two seven four um, i'm gonna go up here now to the point seven six join the previous point seven four to the next point seven six then i'm gonna get them to go down here So that's the point five, four, five across and four up. So I'm going to get them to join seven, six to five, four. Then I want them to go up here, uh, which is the point three, six. So join five four two three six then i want them to go down here which is the point uh three four so join three six two three four and then finally back again to uh, where i started which was one four so join three four two one four and then maybe i want them to color that in let's say red this isn't a very good uh good red pen wearing out a little bit but just about almost doing the job You get the idea so my instruction would be fill in red okay so your job for this lesson is um, to make a picture um, it can it can have lots of shapes in it so it can have lots of blocks of instructions like this um, but your picture must have so the picture itself but also the accompanying instructions and then the idea is that somebody else should be able to draw your picture using just your instructions um, without even looking at your picture. So um, try and make it as uh, impressive as you can. Um, and then um, once you've done that, uh, you will be kind of swapping over with other people and trying to draw each other's pictures. But try to spend um, most of this lesson constructing something that is quite impressive and complicated. So there's a good uh, sort of 35 minutes of work to be done there of uh, building up a really impressive picture.